इस मूवमेंट देन यू रोटेट व्हाट्स अप गाइस कैसे हो सब आज मैं आपको नॉर्दर्न स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी का गायनोकोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट में जो बेजाइनल एग्जामिनेशन किया जाता है उसका प्रैक्टिस दिखाने जा रहा हूँ आप वीडियो को एंड तक देखिएगा एंड प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर विजुअलाइज यू नीड प्रोवाइड विजुअल एक्सामिनेशन बट ऑफ कोर्स दिस मैनिकिन इज शोइंग यू नॉर्मल कंडीशन एंड यू विल नॉट नोटिस एनीथिंग बट व्हाट आई वांट टू पुट योर अटेंशन ऑन तो आई सजेस्ट यू टू से दैट यू डोंट सी एनी काइंड ऑफ पैथोलॉजी बट व्हाट इज अबनॉर्मल फॉर दिस मैनिकिन इवन इट इज शोइंग फिजियोलॉजिकल नॉर्मल अपीयरेंस इट इज शोइंग यू ओपनिंग वैजेनिव स्टिबुल दिस इज अनयूजुअल द वैजेनिव स्टिबुल नीड टू बी क्लोज्ड वी हैव two pairs of libraries that mm. are covering the vaginal region mm-hmm. and this is unusual but for the mannequins it is common because we need insert instruments inside um but for you to provide the procedure i will ask you to show the upper hand in this position mm-hmm. opening the um, mm-hmm. and distending the labia majora and labia minora by upper hand not inserting the instrument without any kind of uh, help of another hand So you can say for example that everything is okay except except visualized vagina that means maybe it is a symptom of uh, genital prolapse <laughs> because this is the most common thing that is connected to the visualized not closed vagina vestibulum by the uh, labia minora major so what instruments we should use we should use uh fistula you see these are multiple uh, multi use uh, speculum that are metallic um these are for most uh, diagnostic procedures um, because they allow you to use one hand one hand inserting inside opening inside fixing uh, this position and uh you can leave it there and operate mm. uh it is for small diagnostic procedures that's okay because uh you see this area cannot be increased mm-hmm. you can increase only inside mm-hmm. uh for any kind of gynecological operation we use another specular they are separate this is spoon like specular <coughs> we can insert it into the posterior <coughs> phonix of the vagina this is in russian we say uh, we name this podyumnik podyumnik means lift mm-hmm. uh this is a uh, anterior specular or, or that for the anterior um uh, phonix or anterior wall of the vagina this type of uh, specular they allow you to manipulate with uh, instruments but this need an assistant who will stand and keep uh, uh, yes this upper uh, specular in his hand so we should use uh, single use uh, plastic specular uh, during the exam i will give you quite the same because they will be from one box <laughs> um the uh, simulation center has uh, got two boxes with uh, two types of different specular this is small size this is medium size they don't buy large size and that's very good because we don't have such kind of mannequins uh, small size specular you see they have a uh, smaller uh blades uh but that means that will be not more uh, easy to manipulate but the mechanism is quite the same mechanism is the same um uh, <coughs> single use specular ah oh, that's it in your hand single use specular have benefits and side effects yes? no, <laughs> what is benefit the benefit you open the sterile instrument the in the presence of the patient patient c uh you confirm that uh, instrument is sterile patient uh, feel her sound cool, comfortable uh, what is uh, side effect <laughs> that you can use only one time yeah? mm-hmm. <laughs> that's mean that for example as i'm giving you for the exam uh, they are fragile and they may be broken, broken. Mm-hmm. be gentle with them okay uh they uh, and also the lock Mm-hmm. So about the anatomy of the uh whose cospecula. So it has blades that are inserted into the vagina. And you see the size is again different in uh anterior posterior and transverse diameter. Uh then they have two branches for example and a lock. 
Ce cum are How to insert the speculum? How to insert the speculum to minimize the discomfort for the patient? The procedure of the speculum examination is actually is actually not painful, but it is discomfortable. It is discomfort. That's why you need to explain the, uh, the procedure to the patient, uh, prepare her, and uh, uh, please notice that upper hand needs to be presented. Mm -hmm. That is showing that you are opening the uh, vagina vestibule. What is next? Next is how to keep the specula and how to insert it. Um, you may keep in your hands as you like. I prefer to put the speculum in this way because this way gives me control for the closed blades mm -hmm. of the speculum. Because closed blades is obligatory. How you will keep, no matter. Uh, maybe you are very well controlling the uh, branches of the uh, speculum. For me, this is the most comfortable way. You may use any one. But Please be 100% sure that you are inserting being closed mm -hmm. and the speculum needs to be closed. And then insertion needs to be uh, correspond again to the anterior posterior diameter. Uh, just look for the direction of the insertion. Actually, I will uh, will put the uh, speculum in the down position mm -hmm. because uh, by the speculum I need to find the cervix. Cervix is Uh, non, in non-pregnant women, in women who is not ready for the delivery, is lying on the sacrum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why you are using uh, this movement. Then you rotate. Mm -hmm. uh, in Russia, we prefer to rotate in uh, branch down position. In English video, I see they are usually rotating into branch anterior position. How you will put, no matter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You may put that in that and another way. And then I need to find the cervix. So uh, I need to find the cervix. When I see it, I open the blades and uh, and fix by the lock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now, my two hands are free. Mm -hmm. And I can manipulate. Mm -hmm. uh, you see that cervix is in the middle of the... Yeah. Так. Хорошо, си фолиспун. Фолиспун. This is a very small air spatula. Not air spatula. This is фолиспун. Air spatula right now, no, actually it is existing. You can buy it, for example, if you want. But, and you can use it if you have, for example, if you are coming to the some medical center and they don't give you example spoon they give you spatula so use it no matter uh, and I will give you sight of brush uh, the brush. only one thing that by air spatula you can't collect this uh, uh, tissue sample uh, this sample you will provide by the sight of brush <laughs> so for this case you will uh, and also slide mm -hmm. so what you will do you will uh, for this idea you need collect the vaginal discharges mm -hmm. and put on the slide what can we um, check by this manipulation by this we can uh, provide microscopic examination of the vaginal discharges and see for example trichomonas vaginalis we can see, we can see for example uh, the presence of Neisseria gonorrhoea uh, in uh, if we color this uh, swab Or we, uh, we can see uh, candida, candida albicans or other candidas species. Uh, so these are simple data. And also we can see that, for example, a lot of uh, leukocytes are presented. So we think this is infection. No, this is rather simple method of examination. Actually, it is, uh, uh, I think, will disappear in a few years from our <laughs> from our life. But right now it is uh, a routine procedure that is included into all Russian guidelines and documents. And that's why I have still Include it into your uh, exam. So you need these two things. Uh, and what is the place you will obtain for? You are uh, you are interested in the vaginal discharges. This is important to be well understood. That's why you will put the spoon on the 
pastiria phonics of mm-hmm. the vagina, mm-hmm. not in the cervix, mm-hmm. into the pastiria phonics mm-hmm. of the vagina. Why pastiria? Because is be, there. they are collecting because of gravidity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is very simple thing. Yes, uh, you will provide this option. Mm-hmm. You put uh, the spoon inside, take the sample, and during this moment, uh, the examiner may ask you, what are you doing? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you may show uh, where is location of your spoon. The spoon mm-hmm. is located in the posterior fossa. Posterior fossa. You, are, for, uh, compi- you are, uh, just taking the discharges from the vagina. How to make a swap? Uh, put the spoon in the... Ah, first of all, take two angles mm-hmm. of the uh, slide. Mm-hmm. Then put the uh, spoon in the uh, 90 degrees mm-hmm. angle. Yes. And spread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, virtual discharges. Uh, what is a possible mistakes? Possible mistakes you are taking slide in this way. Mm-hmm. In this way you can't spread. Mm-hmm. So take it by two angles. Mm-hmm. Second, what is most common as a uh, uh, problem? You are providing this way. Uh, this this uh, thus you can't spread. Mm-hmm. That because you have a very uh, small surface of the contact. Mm-hmm. So this same also. Yes, you need Put this and make this. Mm-hmm. Понятно. Хорошо. Uh, this is over. So this put into the yellow basket. Then we are ready. We are ready for the cytological examination. Uh, as we need cytological examination mm-hmm. from this idea, we need to collect cells, not discharges. And that's why I suggest you to remove unnecessary discharges by the cotton pad. Mm-hmm. You are just showing that you removed also into the yellow basket. No, wait, I need to look at that. And uh, then you need a cyta brush. Mm. I will give you this cyta brush. Uh, but you need to know that there are plenty of different types of cyta brushes. Uh, all these are cyta brushes. Mm. Um, for example, this cyta brush is ideal for so type of. Uh, transformation zone because you will include you will put it inside the cervical mm-hmm. channel mm-hmm. and no, you will put deep and <coughs> rotate there mm-hmm. five times mm-hmm. um, this good for cervical channel but not good for the surface okay. um, what are other types of cyta brushes this cyta brush that I will give you for example mm-hmm. you see it have a special brush inside mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it has uh, actually it has two brushes mm-hmm. the outside brush for the outside and brush mm-hmm. to the out inside okay. in all cases this top uh, brush you will put inside the cervical channel and again rotate five times mm-hmm. five times five times, yeah, five times. Um, one more cyta brush that is some some kind of in middle between them has a uh, soft brushes mm. for the cervical channel and actually we can say that it is mostly for a second type of transformation zone mm-hmm. no uh, but uh, again it depends what your chief will buy for you <laughs> it depends on what how you will provide your work if you have ability to use all types of cyta brushes you may use two types for example you think that it is not enough and you may use another cyta brush to collect uh, the material from the cervical chain mm-hmm. but please don't be confused if you will see this mm-hmm. in all cases you need to put inside the cervical chain mm-hmm.